Got a mailbag. Got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten packages. Ten, I think. Oh, and a prime package. Move these aside. We'll open this prime package first. Try this new filament as a. Uh, Knocked something over. <laughs> TNC? T TNC? TNC? I have no idea how you say that. Let's see how it's packaged. It's just a white. It's a more solid white than the white I have. I thought I'd try a different white and see how similar they are. PLA. It's kind of a nice reel too. So uh, it's kind of weird the way they. Huh. That's interesting. So we'll check it out. Temperature 190 to 230. Base plate 30 to 50. White. See how this differs from my uh, other white. All right, PLA. Always use some more filament. All right, first package. No idea. Modules. Oh, this is one of those Max. Make sure this is the same as the other one. Comes with the wire. Okay, so this is one of those Max 7219 boards, but this one's a little different than the one I had before. This one mounts on the back so that you can tile them. I don't remember what color that is, but it's basically a, a two wire protocol and lets you control a LED matrix. Little kit, little DIY kit. All you gotta do is put the headers on. Of course, you can permanently mount that too. So that's that. Right, next, Mark Pen. It's a flux pen, it looks like. Yep, York Flux Pen. Label's all crooked. <laughs> or is it broken? What in the hell? It's all like bent. Well, it's not activated yet, so maybe I can fix that. It's like it's not screwed on straight or it snaps on crooked. Maybe they didn't screw it on all the way and they put the sticker on. I'm going to read this sticker. Uh, shelf life 25 degrees, 2 years, uh, 10 milliliters, Kester, it says in Chinese. Yep, yeah, I doubt it. Uh, FN190122.13.19 must be the date. York 951, so it's probably Kester 951's uh, equivalent. Uh, it's, it's nice, I like the pen case, it's really nice. It's a really nice pen. So we'll see if it works after I can put it back together properly. <laughs> it's all wanky, it's all wonky, that's for sure. And it's not just a label. Electronics. Pretty much everything these days is some kind of electronics. Uh, this is a SHT3X. I think it's a 
It's a very small temperature humidity sensor. It might just be temperature. I'm not really sure. I'll double check. The little I squared C temperature sensor module. Next, PCB board. All right, these are a bunch of USB UARTs. Got three of them. They're these ones. I like these because they break out everything. So I think these are CP2102s. And even though they are USB, it's e you can easily remove this jack and wire this into a project or something. And they break out all the connectors, but only the ones that you need, but all more pins are broken out. Um, so that's nice. And they're pretty cheap. So I got three of those. I gotta make some programmers for some stuff. All right, stationary sticker. Uh, some kind of tiny little labels I bought. Little roll of sticker labels. Kind of like what you use for like you'd see on yard sales or. I thought these would be good for labeling, just uh, small things. I don't know if these are printable or not. They might be thermal. I'm not really sure. I'll have to test that. Yeah, they feel like they're thermal. Let me have a, see if I have a, yeah. Alright, so let's pull one of these off. Yep, they're thermal. Cool. Hopefully I didn't ruin the whole stack. But uh, yeah, they're thermal labels, so I guess... There's some kind of printer that prints on these. Interesting. I want to see if I can... I think this is what you use for like printing little uh, barcodes and like MAC addresses on stuff. So I like the size. Good for PCBs and stuff. If I could find a way to print on them, that'd be great. Electronics. This one says electronics. This is a bunch of pieces of different things. Such weird packaging. I've never seen this packaging before. More people are seeming to use this. Well, that's like a, some kind of microphone module. It's going to probably an amplifier and a gain setting, I'm guessing. And this one is also a microphone. I don't know why I got two of them. Also a microphone. This one is a vibration sensor. I thought I already got one of these. Hmm. Interesting. I thought I just bought one of these. I also don't know why I got two of these. I'll have to look up and see if I meant to do that. Maybe they just I just bought them because they were different. Not really sure. Alright, next. Electronics. Some other kind of module. Lots of modules today. No, uh, this is a Holtec HT 16K33 breakout. So it's a 16 by 8 LED matrix breakout. Man, that glare is really killing me. I'm sorry about that. I gotta fix these lights. Um. All right, next, wires. Um, I don't know why I bought this. One millimeter, that's awfully thick. Oh, I know why. I was going to try to make some kind of LED project, free form. This is some kind of brass wire. It's supposed to be brass. It looks like it's gold colored. In. Hmm. I don't know if that's what I wanted. We'll see. That's solderable. 
and if I can use it to make some freeform projects. I'm just going to try to make some of those LED pendants. I don't think this is the right stuff though. Don't think that's going to work. Alright. Next. I don't know what that is. Something very small, so I'm going to be careful. These are probably Hall Effect sensors. They're very small. OH49E, 2B161AA7. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure these are Hall Effect sensors. I'm not sure which kind. I'll have to check. I know I bought some linear Hall Effect sensors. Those are detect, you can detect the magnetic field. And uh, depending on which kind you get, you can detect the strength of it, the polarity, stuff like that. All right, next case cover. Uh, this is a adapter ring. Uh, I believe this is an adapter ring for a lens that lets you put it backwards. And if you can put a lens backwards, it turns it into a macro lens. EOS 52 millimeter. So I'll have to try that out and see if this actually works. But I believe you can mount a lens backwards onto your camera and it will give you a, kind of like a macro lens effect. We'll find out. And uh, I bought some heat shrink on clearance at Lowe's. They had white. White heat shrink is kind of hard to come by, so I bought some of that. Some black. Just oh, oh, one more. Jewelry accessories. Uh, it's like a bunch of silver clasps of some sort. idea. I think I saw some little hooky things and I thought they'd be good for something. I can't imagine what. They look pretty cheap. No, they're not too bad. Maybe I thought I could use these as test clips. Okay, I see. So they're little loops. little holes in the ends. So I assume you put something through there. No idea. I don't know why I bought those. I think I was going to use them for maybe some kind of um, Maybe some kind of oscilloscope probe test points, maybe. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what I bought them for. I'm going to guess to solder onto a board as some kind of test clip. Or to slide. Uh, you know what? Actually, I should have meant to test this. Let me uh, take a couple out and see if they fit on a... Kind of. They kind of fit on there. Let me try this one a little more straight. Well, look at that. I kind of can use it as a jumper. Not really. I mean, it's made for jewelry, I believe. Hmm. Interesting. Not really sure. If I remember what I bought these for, I'll uh, let you know. But I think they were for um, to use as a cheap uh, test point for uh, oscilloscope clips. 
because these were really cheap and those uh, little ones that are made for for that with the colors they're uh they're, they're not too cheap but uh i don't really know let's check out this thing and see if i can uh well it looks like i got it back to normal i still want to take that off and figure out what's going on here hmm I don't know if that's going to work. Ugh. <laughs> I opened these up. These are the uh, CP2102s. I really want to see how much is in there. Alright, so yeah, they just didn't screw it on. Well, that's interesting. It burns. Liquid flux? I'm so confused. So why is it um why is there some spilled out into here when this is sealed? They really, oh, okay. So they probably filled it. It's got spring compression. It just fits on there like that. And then this fits in there. And then this screws in like that and probably compresses it. And they didn't do it all the way. That's nice. I like that. It doesn't smell at all, though. I guess I should wash my hands, but it smells like nothing. Which is very strange. Maybe there was just water in the outside. From them cleaning it or something. Or maybe this is uh, just water. <laughs> no. I mean, it burned a little bit like alcohol. Acid flux? I'm gonna wash my hands just in case. Right. <laughs> yeah, it kind of evaporated real fast. Um, but it had no smell at all. Which is very strange. And it's not, it wasn't oily. It was almost like it was some kind of uh, alcohol, like pure ethanol or. Let me look this up and see what it says. All right, Solder, soldering rosin flux pen, low solids, no clean, for solar panel DIY. Whatever the hell that means. Unbranded, no clean flux pen. Flux has to facilitate the flow of solder by reducing the surface tension. Model 951. 10 milliliters for rework touch up of SMT, SMD, low solids content for practically no residue. If touch skin, please wash it timely lest it cause skin irritation. All right, so let's look up, um, I don't know what 950, I never used a liquid no clean flux. Um, I can't see that it would do anything because there's low solids. It felt like there was no solids. I wonder what the carrier solvent is. Um, uh, Kester 951. Uh, zero halogen non-rosin flux designed for wave soldering. Conventional and surface mount circuit board assemblies. Extremely low solids content. 2% nature of the activator system results in practically no residue. Oh, I know why I bought this. I bought this for reworking my 
PCB that's white. And you don't want to rework a white PCB because it turns yellow and you have to clean all the flux off and it looks like crap. So that's what I bought this for in case I have to rework some of them. Um, boards are dry and cosmetically clean. No residues to interfere with electrical testing. Improved soldering performance to minimize solder bridges. Flux is suitable for automotive. Blah, 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 blah. Surface insulation resistance on solder board is higher than provided by typical water soluble fluxes. Um, where do I find the material safety data? Uh, HT25, highly flammable liquid in vapor, toxic if inhaled, may cause damage to organs, serious eye irritation, blah, 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 blah. Hazard determining components of labeling methanol, isopropanol, aliphatic ketone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phone skin, take off immediately, rinse skin, water, and shower. Continue rinsing. If inhaled. Well, shit. You're supposed to burn this stuff. Ethanol. It is. So it's uh, 55 to 70% ethanol. So I was dead on there. Uh, 10 to 25% isopropanol. Five, less than five. What does that mean? Five to less than 10%. Five to less than ten percent of aliphatic ketone. Five to ten percent methanol. Proprietary carbol xylic acid. Trade secret. One to three percent. Carbol. Carboxylic. Is that how you say it? Proprietary carboxylic acid. One to three percent. I don't know what. Uh, let me look up what this means. I don't know what the uh, what an aliphatic ketone is. Probably a surfacent of some sort. Carbon and hydrogen atoms. Yeah, all right. So it's an organic compound. It might even be in there for scent. So when it smells, when it burns. I'm assuming that's the dangerous part. So there you go. <clears throat> Very low solids. <laughs> I can't believe it actually would make a difference that it's such a small amount of um, solids, but I'll uh, I'll test it out, and make a do a follow up video, I guess, and see uh, see how it works. So it's got that ball pry just to keep it flowing, so when you turn it upside down, it doesn't pour out the, the tip. But it does have a spring tip, so you have to activate it. Yeah. It doesn't smell like anything. It's bizarre. Crazy. We'll see. I guess I could test it, make sure it's flammable, make sure it's not water. <laughs> All right. I'm excited to try this. Too bad I couldn't find one for a Nikon. I have a Nikon camera. I have a Canon also, but it's not my perf better quality. All right, till next time.